I saw my vascular surgeon today. He did a scalene trigger point injection on the anterior scalene. I have felt great since. Is there any downside to Botox injection long-term? All right, good question. Number one, I'm glad you're feeling better. That's really good. And hopefully you're doing uh, physical therapy and working with it, especially that you have some relief in pain now. If you weren't here early in the talk, I talked somewhat about scalene blocks. Uh, Botox in particular uh, works great. Okay, but it doesn't work as well the second and third times. I believe the mechanism, and this is a little out of my field, but the body forms antibodies to the Botox. So the second time, it tends to get chewed up a little bit. And the third time, the body's ready for it and chews it up faster. So it doesn't work as effectively on subsequent injections. Um, it's different in different patients. It may have a, a reasonable effect the next couple of times, but eventually you run out of it as a tool. And so uh, make the most use of it now. Um, I don't know if your doc is using it as a diagnostic tool saying this should lead us to surgery. I would give that a second thought as I described earlier in our talk today. Um, but you can contact me for more about that. I just tend to say caution. It doesn't always indicate a direct path to surgery. So I hope anyway, that the, the way you're feeling now is a really good indicator that you've been sticking to this. I know, and, uh, that you can get better. And I hope you have a physical therapist or a chiropractor or somebody who's a kinesiologist, a body posture person who's helping you uh, address some of the causative issues. Thank you for the great question.